faith in his word. So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God. The multitude in Luke 5 wanted to hear the word of the Lord so much that they pressed upon his person so as to urge him because they wanted to hear more of what he was teaching. They wanted the life that was in his words. They wanted more and Jesus gave them what they were seeking. He still rewards faith-filled, diligent seekers. When have you so hungered for God's word that you press through fatigue, sickness, distraction, and every barrier? Since we know the word of God lives and abides forever, that knowledge should generate faith in us. His word is eternal life, truth, wisdom, and power. It is God himself. In the aforementioned scripture, when Jesus stopped teaching, his word had not finished working. He said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Simon Peter himself, being a master fisherman, said to the master of everything, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. It was at the master's word that toil becomes ease, failure becomes success, and faith is increased. It was at his word that they were able to do what the natural could not produce. When we have faith in the word of God, we appropriate blessings God has stored up for us in his son, who is heaven's matchless treasure. Can you imagine receiving eternally from his inexhaustible goodness? Therefore, let us begin assessing, accessing at this moment what our Heavenly Father has made eternally ours. It is the word of His grace which is able to build us up and give us an inheritance among all those who are sanctified in Him right now. Let us intentionally lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is also able to save our souls. I have resolved to totally place my faith in God's word, Jesus Christ, where there is a multitude of us, which no man can number. Will you join us living in the word, Pastor Don?